Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J, for another Fearless Friday. Yes, and this Friday is all about fashion boo. You guys know I love to talk on fashion. And so this week is a Fearless Fashion Friday, okay? So let's get into this video. Okay, ladies, today is all about making sure we get your style on point. Why? Because it's the summer, it's time for a glow up boo. But also, it's time to realize that if a lot of the clothes in your closet you're not drawn to and you're not really wearing, maybe they're too dressy or maybe they're just really not your style, maybe you're too, you feel too insecure in those, that means that most likely you're, you're getting clothes based off of a dream life versus off your real life. I say that because I have a lot of clothes in my closet that still have tags on it or dresses that I love, but I have no real reason to wear them because I work from home a lot. Now, I do dress up occasionally, but I need things that are cute, comfortable, and versatile for in case I need to jump on jump on camera, jump on social media, or if I need to run to the post office and send a package. I need things that are comfortable, cute, and versatile, okay? And so I realized that my clothes in my closet weren't really any of that. It was really super dressy or super sweatpants and chill. There was no in between. And so I'm gonna show you how I went to Shein.com and found some basic pieces that really, really helped me get clear on my style and realizing that if I have these basic pieces, I can make multiple outfits with just one piece, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys that today and I'm so excited because I've been holding this inside of my heart. I've been wanting to do this video for a while and now it's finally here and I'm so excited. So let's get into the very first basic piece. guys the very first basic piece is a flannel you may be thinking why do i need a flannel it's hot it's summertime i do not need a flannel but i want to tell you these flannels have really come in handy and i realized i can use this flannel in the summer and in the fall and in the winter flannels are very stylish and one great way you can do it is pair it with a pair of shorts like i did also i just paired it with an under top and some shorts and some white Nikes and this flannel over it that really pulled it together with the little white bag. I thought this was very cute and very stylish. I thought this was simple. I felt like this was an easy outfit I could throw on if I have to go run errands, but still wanna feel cute and put together. And this flannel really did come in handy. Another way that you can wear flannel is if you just wear a normal summer dress, anything that might be a little form-fitting. Like for me, I wear dresses sometimes that are a little too form-fitting and they make me a little more self-conscious. So tying a flannel around my waist really does help me feel a little more comfortable. And so that is a great way that a flannel can come in handy. You can pair it with a really cute dress, but tie a flannel around, put on some sneakers, and girl, you can really have a cute, comfortable look, but that's still versatile for you to go out for brunch or for you to run around, girl, run all over town and go to Walmart and Target, okay? Let's be real. So that's why I thought this right here was a cute add to my closet, having a great, comfortable flannel. And last but not least, you could always wear this flannel just like a t-shirt. Just button the sucker up, put it on with a pair of jeans, throw on some Nikes and call it a day. So that's three different ways you can wear a flannel. And I think this is really, really cute and very versatile and a great thing to have inside of your closet. Okay, ladies, the next things I want to tell you about is bodysuits. You guys know I have talked about bodysuits a few times. I've worn a few bodysuits that you guys really do love. But I got a black bodysuit from Shein, and I also got it in nude. And what I love about these guys is it's not see-through at all. I like, that's really scary sometimes is things can be a little see-through when it begins to stretch like the fabric. But this is really good. And these are bodysuits. So the way I wore the bodysuit was one way I wore it with just a pair of shorts and the flannel. Another way I wore the black bodysuit is I paired it with shorts, but I also put a blazer over it. And pairing it with the blazer made it look a little more put together and a little more dressy. And that's one great way with bodysuits. You can dress them up or you can dress them down. And that comes in handy a lot. Even another way that I wore this nude bodysuit is I paired it with black pants, like slack kind of pants, but stretchy. But I also paired it with a pencil skirt. 
So depending on your style and what you're going for, so I can dress this up if it's like an event I'm going to or something I need to look a little more business professional for, but also I can dress it down with like this black one with a pair of shorts and a, over, a big blazer, or I could just dress it down with a pair of shorts and a flannel. That's very simple, very easy, and straight to the point on how you can do this, okay? I love bodysuits, guys. I didn't know how much I would be wearing these, but I love bodysuits. Okay, ladies, these next items actually are not from Shein, but you can find something very similar at Shein and probably quite a bit cheaper. But I got three different blazers in different colors. So I've got a blazer in white, I got a blazer in cream, and I also got a blazer in black. And this is from Because of Alice, and I'll leave the link in the description box below. But the reason I got these blazers is because blazers should last you for years and years. And so I decided to go ahead and invest in some pretty nice size hefty blazers. And I really do like having them in these different colors. But also I will say is this has come in really handy. Um, I will show you a look where I actually pair that black bodysuit with a pair of biker shorts and actually this black blazer. And I thought this was so cute. I felt like a fashionista. Um, but you can always throw on a pair of jeans with that if you'd like or a pair of shorts. Um, but I thought that was just so cute and such a fashionista move. But this is from Because of Alice and this is great quality and it's super hefty. And so that's what I paired together with the black bodysuit. And, and it was really, really cute. And I used the cream blazer that I paired together with like a nude dress and I paired it with some nude pumps to kind of give it that monochromatic look. But I thought this right here was really, really cute because uh, this cream blazer is actually pretty long. Actually, some of their blazers are actually kind of long. And I do like that, especially if you're wearing shorts. It does give you a little more length. But the reason why I love this blazer, I paired it with a, a long dress. And I thought that still dressed up the look, but also gave me that monochromatic look that I really liked. I also paired this blazer with this shirt here in just a pair of shorts, and I thought this really dressed up a look that was adorable. So I thought that was really cute too. You can try and experiment with blazers. You guys, I know I love very colorful blazers, but I did not have like real super neutral blazers. And so that's why I got these, but you guys know I have pink and purple and yellow and green and all these different color blazers because I love blazers and I love how you can mix and match your style with blazers, okay? And still look a little more put together. The last blazer was the white blazer that I paired with the black bodysuit, a pair of shorts and some shoes because I thought this was just a super cute look and that you can't go wrong with pairing like a good blazer. And so this was me trying to dress up a really simple look. But guys, you could lose the blazer, add the blazer, but this blazer is super long on me. And so I truly don't see it really beneficial with anything other than shorts right now because it's super long, but I really do like it. Okay guys, the next look is all about the white button up. You girls know you have to have a white button up, okay? Like, you have to have a white button up. So I decided to get the white button up and I actually got it from Because of Alice also because these are one of those pieces that you want to last you quite a while. But you can also find many white button ups on Shein. There have, they have so many options. And so it just so happened I got this and the blazers together. So how I styled this white button up is I decided to style it with some shorts first. And I styled it with some shorts and a hot pink bag and some hot pink pumps. I thought the white on this top really, really just popped out loud and I wanted to add the pop of color with it too and I thought it was real cute and versatile. The next thing I did is I took this same white top though and I added the black pants with it and I thought like tying the top, it made it look a little more put together. And also too, it's a way to make me change, transform this top from something real comfortable and casual to something more business appropriate, right? And so that's why it's always great to have a white button up and I think you can never go wrong. You can throw this on with a pair of jeans, a good sunglass or a hat, a good little flat or a booty or something boo or a little heel and call it a day. So I love a good button up. And so that's why I noticed that having this button up is allowing me to just throw on a t-shirt during the day and still look pretty put together. And I really like that. And shout out to those pink heels and the pink bag. Your girl be trying out here, okay? I'm trying, y'all. All right, 
ladies, the next thing you want to have in your closet is an oversized sweater that is high quality. I actually got this sweater from Shein and it is super neutral, but it is high quality, y'all. I mean, this is thick, it's not thin, it's not, like it's super high quality and I love this. So I think this is really easy and comfortable to come in handy, especially on those cooler days or if it's a rainier day, you can just throw on a sweater with a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans or with some biker shorts and you can call it a day. And that's actually how I styled it. I styled mine with some biker shorts and I thought this was really, really cute and comfortable. But I also threw off the sweater and I tied the sweater around my waist with the black bodysuit and the black biker shorts. I thought that still was a natural, cute look. And the sweater is just in handy in case you need it later, if you need to cover up a little bit or if it's a little cooler or something. But having it tied around the waist is really good. So I, t I look at the sweater kind of the way I look at the flannel. It's multi-purposeful. You can throw this on with a pair of jeans and a cute little pump and you can still have a look, okay? If you accessorize it with some jewelry. So don't overthink a sweater okay you might be like who wants to wear a sweater right now it's pretty hot so i will probably not be wearing this sweater but i will tie it around my waist and make it look like a look okay so anyways that's the sweater looks that i really liked ladies the next one is silk dresses i don't know if you've noticed but silk in like silk dresses is really in this season and so i picked up this silk dress from shein i really like this silk dress but i will say it was a tad bit short for me so i know personally it made me feel a little like if i was out in public i'd be a little self-conscious but i will say if it had a little more lean to it i probably would have really liked it a little more but this silk dress was adorable and i paired it with my nike air forces like my white air forces my little white bag and girl i was ready to go on a date i mean i don't know with who but i was ready to go on a date okay come on jesus i was ready i was like it's this is a date night vibe although i don't i don't want to go on a date with but still it was a date night vibe and i love the way this looked and the way it shines it's so high quality and i will say this was one of my favorites like my one no this was one of my sister's favorite looks it was just me and my body top and my like insecurity I, it was not a favorite but i will say i love the overall look of this i just think personally if i was going on a date it'd be a different story, okay? This was just adorable. Get you a good length silky dress and pair it with some Nikes or pair it with just some tennis shoes and girl, you could have an entire look without even really trying, okay? Come on, Jesus. now it is time for the dresses and guys i got quite a bit of dresses because i love to feel very feminine and i love to wear dresses in and out of season like i love to wear dresses in the fall spring summer whatever so i decided to get quite a bit of dresses and play around with them and i did get some super basic dresses that i think can help me in any season and the first basic dress i got was this neutral brown dress this is a great quality it hugs your body good and it's super like thick quality. So I really did like this dress. I tied it, the flannel around my waist and the dress was really good. It hits at a really great area too, like right above the knee. So it's not super short and I love that. But um, this was a really great dress. I love this dress and I can really see myself rocking some Air Forces flannel this summer. I'm gonna rock this dress because I love wearing dresses and they're just a great way to dress up any type of occasion. Just throw on a dress. If you don't feel like getting dressed that day, Grab a dress from your closet and you'll feel 20 times better. I swear. Some days I do not feel like getting dressed, but I'll just grab a dress. Literally, grab, hey, there's a dress. Put it on and it's already better. So grab a dress. Grab a dress, boo. The next dress I got, guys, is this dress. It looks a little weird right now, but it's got these long ties in the front. But it kind of does a wraparound dress. And I thought this was really good because this is something you can keep for seasons. This is going to be a go-to business dress if there's an upcoming event dress. This is one of those dresses you put on. You look good, but you keep for seasons and seasons. And I love having some basic dresses that I know I can just run to. It looks good. 
grab it, throw it on for whatever the occasion is. And this is a super sophisticated dress and it goes pretty long down. And that is really cute to me and I really did like that. Okay, so the next dress, guys, I kind of thought it was a miss, okay? It is this like long, like button up t-shirt type of dress. It's super lengthy in the back. And so I was excited about this dress, but I also noticed it was kind of hard to keep it not getting wrinkled. So I noticed that this dress felt kind of like a miss for me, but what I decided to do is pair it with one of my belts, like green belts, I put it around my waist, and I also threw some jeans on with this and a nude pump. And I realized that made the dress come way more together. But honestly, at first, I was so like, this is not my vibe. But when I had to style it a little bit, it really became my vibe. So I will say, sometimes you might get some things that feel like a miss. But if it's a good, versatile piece, what you can do is you maybe can add a belt. You maybe can add, if it's a dress, turn it into an actual top. Um, and things like that to kind of help it come to life. And I think it really did come to life. But it did take me first trying to play with some things. Um, so I really do foresee myself wearing this, maybe not as a dress, but definitely with a pair of jeans and the way I styled it. So the next dress is this one. It's a bodycon kind of dress. It's kind of tight to your body, but the back kind of goes like as a holster, hol holster, holster, halter, halter, gosh. So the back kind of goes like a halter and it's really cute and it really does kind of hold you up a little tire, if you know what I mean. Um, and so I really do like this dress. Um, the first thing is I noticed I probably wouldn't be comfortable enough to just wear it as tight as it is to my body. So what I did at first is I tied that sweater around my dress, around my waist, and I kind of gave it a monochromatic look, you know? Um, and so, cause the sweater is kind of like the offset of this color, and I really did like that. But then I said, you know, this is a really great look. You should dress it up too. This, is, could, this dress could be dressed up. So I threw on my cream blazer with this dress, and I also threw on the nude pumps with this dress, and just my big Teddy Blake bag. And I thought that was a look, like I kind of am getting into the monochromatic looks a little bit. And I thought that that was a look, it was dressy, it was really put together. And it just looked like a vibe, like I don't know where I was going. I don't know what I gotta be doing dressed like that. But your girl's gonna go somewhere dressed like that. I don't know when, I don't know where, but I'm going somewhere. So yeah, I thought that was so cute and I really did like it. Every girl needs a good black dress. And I got it. I got this dress from Shein, guys, and it is so soft. I love how it hugs my body. It feels more like a cotton, like sweater type of fabric, um, but it is pretty V-cut. It goes pretty deep in the front and in the back. Um, and so this is the dress. It's literally so simple, so pretty. It has a really nice slit. But I thought this dress just was one of my favorites. It was simple, it's black, but it's not rough. It's really soft to the skin. It's a great dress if you wanna go dancing or you go into bachata classes or salsa classes. I was like, I don't know when I'm going to bachata or salsa, but this is the dress for that. Like, I don't know, it was just so cute and it's, I love the way it curves up here. It just is very feminine and I think you can't go wrong with this. And I paired it with my pink bag and also just some black pumps and I thought this was adorable and so you can pair this with pretty much you can pair this with nude pumps cute necklace something it's so simple and it literally holds its own like it's a simple dress but it holds its own okay trust me okay this is so cute i love it okay Okay guys, so a few accessories I got is I got these black heels from Shein and I thought these were really cute and they come they went with a lot of my outfits. And I also got these heels in nude and I thought these were really cute and really sleek because they didn't really have that puffiness quite like these did. And I thought these were just such a look and so cute for the summer. And even if in the fall I wanted to wear these, I think they could still be versatile for the fall. Another heel I got from Shein were these hot pink heels. Um, I really like these looks and I love the color pink. I have some pink blazers and I love this pairing a hot pink color with anything, anything white, black, whatever. So that's what I did. I got these hot pink heels and I thought they were really cute. Also, this is not from Shein, but I noticed that I needed a pair of good white tennis shoes and I got these Nike Air Forces from the Nike store and that's what was in a lot of these looks, okay? I be wearing these Air Forces like every single day, y'all. It's hard to keep them clean, but I literally wear them like every day. They're so comfortable and they look good with almost any outfit. The last two accessories I got from Shein were the bags. I believe this bag was $7 and I think this bag was $12. These two bags I got from Shein and I thought they were great and cute for the summer, okay? I thought they were super adorable and just something to throw on and look great in. I love these bags from Shein and they were so cheap 
and they're good quality and they're they're holding up pretty nicely and i literally use this one like every day but this one i only use on certain occasions and they're cute i love them I will say guys if you liked any of these looks all you have to do is click the link in the description box below I have every outfit laid out with the links and so you can click those down below also boo if you enjoy this comment down below your favorite look what was your favorite one and I will see you guys in my next video I love you ladies and I will see you later bye guys love you see you later